This week on the Archer's Choice, we are cruising for caribou. Caribou! 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 Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we are... Crossing for Caribou. Anyways, we go up to <laughs> Nunami Outfitters, way up there in Quebec. Yep, when, I think we flew into Kujarapak. Kujara, Kuj yeah, maybe I, somewhere I like that. that one. Yep, and actually we need to thank George and Russ from Bullseye Outfitters because they really helped us put this whole hunt together. They send us on a, they set up a whole bunch of our hunts for us. Good guys, good adventures. guys to work with. And, and this hunt they, they, they set us up with up there in Nunami, it what? was awesome. You know, something about caribou hunting, you know, I'll, most of the time when you see it on the shows and the videos, everyone says, oh man, look at all those caribou. Oh, this is, this is so great. You've got to remember that if you go up there and you don't hit the migration, <laughs> you'll be doing this for like six days. <laughs> see any or bulls? playing no? cards. <laughs> They're playing cards, Do dominoes, whatever you want. I mean, you're, so, so don't get carried away. If you are going to look for a good caribou spot, Folks, I'm going to tell you, Nunami is one of them because there's only a couple that will actually fly you in off your, from your base camp. A lot of them will tell you this, but there's only a couple that will fly you into the migration so you have an opportunity, you know, of actually, getting your animals. Seeing them, right. But don't, you know, we've got to treat caribou hunting like any other type of hunt. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Right, and fortunately, I was lucky enough to get one. Well, I was lucky enough to get two, but this is actually going to be a two-part show again, just like the bear That's show. That's it. We have so much footage from the caribou trip that we went on. Because we, we cruised to... so well. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that we are actually got two weeks. We got this week and next week, all caribou, all the time. So it ought to be exciting. Now, let's go check out my first hunt. She's first. This vast land creates adventure the moment you decide to go north. Yes, that's right. This week's show, we're traveling way north to the tundra in search of the migration of the caribou with Nunami Outfitters. Around every corner, over every hill, amongst what tree lines are there, you must be prepared for a new adventure in this remote northern tundra. You can travel for days or be one of the lucky ones and be in the right spot at the right time when you are surrounded by caribou. This adventure is sure one you will never forget, from preparation to transportation and everything in between. You better be prepared for all weather and any or all conditions. This land is tough and the animals that live here even tougher. That's right, Vicki and I, with our posse, headed up to Nunami Outfitters in Quebec, Canada. Russ and George from Bullseye Outfitters set this hunt up, and oh boy, what a hunt it was. Matter of fact, we have so much action, we need to share with you this whole adventure in two parts. So before you think you saw it all, be prepared to see the rest of this exciting adventure next week. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's continue on with my caribou hunt. I don't. 
shot was a little far back, but he ran, he laid down right there, he bedded down. Maybe I got liver, I don't know, but oh my gosh. We're just gonna let him sit though, and we're gonna let him wait. I don't wanna bug her him at all. So we're just gonna take our time and, and wait him out. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this. Huh, Michelle? <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Wow. This is our first morning out. We traveled for a day and a half to get up here. Left from Chicago, got into Montreal, up to Kajara Peck, or whatever that long word is. Is it right? Oh, good, Kajara Peck. To come up here with Nunami Outfitters and my goodness, first morning out, and look at this magnificent caribou ball that I, I was able to take. I mean, it is just beautiful. I want to thank George and Russ for helping us set up this whole entire hunt. Did you see that? Isn't it a beautiful ball? It is. I mean, I'm going to got to give credit where credit's due. You know, one of the things I think that everyone needs to be aware of, on, on especially a caribou hunt, this is an animal that is constantly moving. They don't it, stop. No, they don't and, stop. I mean, you can try it bat the whole nine yards, and they're not going to stop. You could whistle. You could go, eh, you know, and anything. And the majority of the time, these animals aren't stopping. They are on a constant move, following that scent trail. And believe it or not, is the the best way you can practice, number one, is shooting on a, you know, like, like a well, McKinsey we, we caribou did, target. We which, practice on our target at home, and it worked. And except, some type of moving, because you could be right on where you know you want, you, you got to hold your pin on, and by the time at 20 yards, one stride on that caribou is close to three and a half to four foot. Yep. So from being here, could be farther back. And don't, you know, don't think that you're, you know, oh, I, I made a bad shot and that's not. Folks, it's going to happen because the opportunities are, the majority of the time, those animals are moving. Yep. And when they are moving, one full stride at 18 or 20 yards, and even th further, if you're, you know, shoot, maybe shooting a little further distance, it could be from a perfect hit. Yep to a far back hit, and knowing what that arrow does, you give it time and you recover your caribou. Yep. Well now, let's go check out Michelle Helen, one of the team posse members here. Again, girls, girls, girls. This is like so cool, isn't it? Welcome back. Now let's join Archer's Choice Posse member, Michelle Helen, because she's on her cruising for caribou hunt. Okay, listen. I think what we both just learned 
is that the caribou don't stop. Yeah. They keep walking, and both of us have just learned our first caribous that you gotta lead them. There he is. <laughs> Look at him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this! This is exciting. This is awesome. This, this is, is an awesome bull. This is no. my first time to Canada. First time caribou hunting. First caribou. A lot of firsts on this trip, and this is awesome. That was unbelievable, that was Michelle. Cool. Congratulations! Michelle, that was really that was unbelievable to have. You know, you know oh. that, what's cool is that was her. That was her first caribou. It was her first hunt away from home without right. art. Art doesn't have a caribou, does he? Anyways, congratulations, Michelle. Sorry, Art. Art, you don't have a caribou? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, now, Michelle, she did awesome. We were actually recovering hers when Patrick saw a bunch of bulls. Oh, yeah. And, and it what was happened? Like, <laughs> you talk about an adrenaline rush, and all of a sudden, Patrick goes, Ooh, good, good, caribou. And I was like, yeah, baby, <laughs> let's go. And I mean, we just, we left most of our gear, put, you yep, know, put we, our face. We left Michelle with her caribou. Yeah, and we, we went running and you. That poor girl, she's never been up there and we, we left, left her. We left right. her in the middle of the tundra <laughs> somewhere. And, and you went running and, and half the time it was really hard for me to stay behind you. You guys just go taking off and you don't pay much attention to the camera person. Well, no, because your job is to keep up with the hunter. And what a hunt it was, check this out. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's finish my hunt. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You swim. Just He's going in. I don't know. He's down. I don't know. Yeah, baby. Good boy, Patrick. <laughs> We're here with Nunami Outfitters. We're caribou hunting in Nunavut, right? Nunavik. Nunavik. Nunami. Nunami. Nunami Outfitters. Nunami Outfitters in Nunavik. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we spotted a real good bull. Patrick knew the lay of the land. We kept up on top. We saw him down below. And he, we had a little cow and a calf come through. We ranged him. He's like 35 yards out. And I mean, center punched him. And he went right over the ridge there. Let's go get our boot. Ah. Mission on top. Mm hmm. That's the first big bean. What's really cool, he's real heavy. Yeah, the heavy bean. He got long bears. Let's mm -hmm. come over the nose. It's a nice Beautiful one. animal. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you, we are up here with Nunami. And I can't tell you enough about this place. Okay. The shot that you made was just, I mean, that was a good shot. Thank you. Yes. I mean, he went running, he went, go, he went down those cliffs. Patrick wasn't real happy with you. No, he was. He wasn't happy at all because we were hoping that he'd make it all the way down, but he didn't make it all the way down. He just that's you know that was that that's the Spitfire. It's gonna that that was unbelievable. And then the amount of caribou that even as you were recovering yours, there were still more in the water, and there were some up above. And and George and Russ from Bullseye Outfitters, they're the ones that got us again up there with Nunami, and it was unbelievable. It's incredible. It and was you know, another point to just keep stressing on caribou hunting is. When you're looking to book a hunt, you know, please make sure that it's a camp that will move you into the caribou. There's a lot of outfitters that tell you they will, but really the logistics of it is if they don't have the planes available at that camp, you're probably not going to be moved. So remember, when you go to check a hunt out, especially caribou, is make sure that you have that accessibility right. to move in because, and, wow. And, I mean, <laughs> and like we said at the beginning of the show, this is a two-part caribou hunt. That's it. So this was part one, so next week will be part two. So remember to stay tuned right here next week. Same time. Same channel right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.